What's up guys, it's Will here, back again, and this morning we're here for another very exciting announcement from Hot Toys, and that is the Clone Wars Ahsoka Anakin Skywalker figure. Guys, it's going to be very, very exciting, but before we get into all of that, make sure to click the like button, click the subscribe button, and click the notification bell down below so you are notified when content goes live on this channel. All this news like this, all this information is going to drop on this channel, you're not going to want to miss it. Will.foxification on Instagram, I always share updates there as well. That said guys, this figure will be up for pre-order uh, at Comic Concepts, I'll have a link as soon as I can get one as soon as Josh puts it up on the website. That said, let's jump into the figure. So the 1-6 scale Anakin Skywalker, the Clone Wars version from Ahsoka. This Ahsoka line is getting very deep, and uh, right now the line has been very successful. People seem to really be loving it, but are they going to love this one? Let's talk about it. This is War Ahsoka, Anakin Skywalker. As the Star Wars Clone Wars have begun, Jedi Generals have become commanders in the war against the Separatists. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Anakin teaching Ahsoka, all that good stuff. Hot Toys is uh, ready to present the 1-6 scale Anakin. So we got a movable eyes powered by USB-C lightsaber. Uh, I really like the USB lightsaber, by the way. Uh, hopefully that's USB. BC lightsaber um, instead of USB. I mean, not the end of the world, but still, regardless, it still looks great. Okay. So guys, I posted this on Instagram uh, because Hot Toys shared this on their story and I shared it to my story, of course, you know, rightly so, as I always do. And uh, I got a lot of feedback, people saying, oh, he looks like a Chad. He looks like a guy on a dating app. You know, he looked, his, his expression's just not right. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm missing here because to me, while this head sculpt is not a 10 out of 10, it's really good. I mean, I really have no problem with the expression whatsoever. This is the face that Hayden Christensen makes all, a lot. Like, he looks like this all the time. Like, if you go back and look at the show or go back and look at him during interviews, this is what his face looks like. Uh, to me, this looks like almost maybe a, a version where they've slightly de-aged him just a little bit. I don't recall in the show if they use that technology at all. Maybe they use it sparingly just a little bit to make Hayden look a little bit younger. But to me... I mean, I think this is one of the best head sculpts they've put up in a while. Is this the best Anakin Skywalker head sculpt? No, but it's really fucking good. I, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm missing here. I mean, look at that angle on the left right there. That's how Hayden looks. Like, whether you think he's, like, putting a Chad look on or he is, like, a dating app profile, which I've heard, too. I mean, maybe, but uh, I think that's just his face. I mean, like, I, I think that's I think that's what he looks like. So, I think the hair looks great. I mean, I think all all of the uh, the facial expressions and the slight wrinkling, I think that looks great. Of course, you got to expect it's probably going to soften in the final product just a little bit. But this distance right here is probably where you're going to be looking at the figure from on your shelf. And I do not see any fault here. I, I mean, I think this looks great. Obviously, we got pleather boots again. That's not uh, ideal. But other than that, I think the tailoring looks good. It's probably a very similar uh, outfit as the original Clone Wars version, if not an entire reuse. So all of that, I mean, not the end of the world. I'm sure most people will be happy with that. But overall, the head sculpt looks great. Uh, for all the people that bought the Clone Wars version from the Clone Wars, uh, that one is now probably not nearly as exciting or valuable to you. Uh, but hey, you might still love it. It's a Clone Wars a dedicated version. So, you know, it still could be okay. But I mean, honestly, I think this looks great. I mean, like what more could you ask for? This head sculpt looks fantastic. Hot Toys has been on a roll lately. And um, I think this looks great. The movable eyes do a lot for this figure. So you actually look at uh, the Scarlet Witch recently, the multiverse one, and that one didn't have movable eyes. I'd seen that in Justin's review. And that was a big, uh, you know, a big issue because essentially you can't do as many uh, dynamic type of poses with the with the face as you'd like to. So, uh, you know, with this, you can you can do anything you want with Anakin, give him any sort of look as long as the eyes are movable. I love that movable eyes has become the new standard for Hot Toys. It should be. Um, it should be. It should have been something that uh, been on figures for a while now. Uh, you know, it gives you so much more flexibility. But to me, I mean, look. I'm probably going to pick this up. I mean, this is not my Anakin look. I don't prefer the Clone Wars look. I prefer just the Jedi Anakin look from Revenge of the Sith. That's my preferred look. Dark side. Uh, I was hoping that they would make an Anakin from Ahsoka that was more typical, like the one you saw in the World Between Worlds. Um... This one technically kind of was too. But they also had the gall to give him a sand base. He hates sand. It's coarse. It gets everywhere. It's rough. Like, no, Anakin would not want this. This is not what Anakin wanted. So the fact that they gave him a sand base, we're going to give Hot Toys a little bit of an L there. I think they could have done better on the base, despite the fact that this scene where Anakin does appear in the Clone Wars armor, he was in, he was on sand. I get it. So... Nonetheless, I do think maybe we should have gone with something different. However, I do think the armor looks pretty cool. I think the head sculpt looks great. Uh, Clone Wars, again, it's not my perfect ideal design. I think the Jedi robes just look better. But um, 
it's not the end of the world. I mean, I do really like the aesthetics of this figure. I do think it looks really cool. And it's a very unique uh, type of Anakin Skywalker here, I think. I mean, guys, it doesn't come with that much. It doesn't really need to, I don't think. I mean, he was this, this version of Anakin was barely in the show. But I do think it looks really good. I think the head sculpt looks great. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, so if other people are not, uh, that's fine too. But to me, I think it looks very, very good. So let's look at actually Secret Base here. So Secret Base, um, we have uh, a price of 1630 Hong Kong dollars. So you can see that right here. So if we translate that, and I'll probably have to remove my video on this one, but that, that'll be fine. If we translate that to $1,630 dollars, uh, that's going to go to $208, right? So from there, $208, uh, Sideshow adds like a 25% tax. So if you're in the States, if you're buying from somewhere like Sideshow, you're probably paying like 250, 255. 255 is pretty reasonable for this figure. So I'm fine with it. Um, you know, I, I think I'm, I am going to pick this one up uh, at least for review and then kind of see how I feel about it. But, um, you know, I'm getting the Artisan Anakin. That's my preferred Anakin or Dark Side. That would be my preference. But um, yeah, I'm interested to hear your guys' thoughts on this one. I mean, is it the definitive Anakin Skywalker? I would say no, unless you're a big Clone Wars fan. I mean, if you're a huge Clone Wars fan and you love this iteration of Anakin, then I would say, yeah, I mean, it could be. It's definitely the best Clone Wars Anakin. There's nothing nothing um, about that that's, that's uh, you know, debatable. But as far as like, you know, if you have Dark Side and if you have this new artist in Anakin, those are probably preferable. And when they do another dark side Anakin, which they will. It's just a matter of time, whether it's Ahsoka or whether if they wait uh, to the anniversary for Revenge of the Sith, I believe that's next year. Um, so at that point, they're gonna do one then and there's probably gonna be another Darth Vader. Uh, maybe it's even a two pack or something like a dark side Anakin and a Darth Vader, but you haven't seen as many two packs lately. That's been a, that's been a thing that's been kind of a remnant of the past a little bit. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really like this. I mean, I'm interested to hear your guys' thoughts. Um, you know, if you think it looks shitty, that's fine. You can absolutely say that. But I, I mean, to me, I, I like this. I really like it. Um, I think it looks like Hayden. I think it looks like kind of a de-aged Hayden, um, which which makes sense because that's kind of what they're going for in this scene. I and mean, he's supposed to look younger than what he actually is. So, I mean... You guys have to let me know uh, the, the the complaints. So we're we're going to have a live stream today with Kiko and I and Optical. 5.15 uh, p.m. Lights, camera, collect. So don't uh, miss that one. That's going to be a really fun one. We're going to talk about the NR Batman as well. But um, yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts. Again, I, I like the armor. I like the head sculpt. The head sculpt to me is, I, th I think it looks great. Um, I think it looks like Hayden. I don't know. I don't know what I'm missing here. Um, maybe I need to get my eyes checked. I haven't, I haven't had my eyes checked in a while. It's also... 6 or 7 a.m. as I'm recording this. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure to click the like button, the subscribe button down below, and the notification bell for updates on this channel. Uh, comment uh, your thoughts, and we'll chat from there. Guys, thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. See you later. Bye. How do I end this? Okay, bye.